Hello, I'm John Rogers. I'm the director of the Jupiter section. And uh, as you see here, Jupiter's a planet with lots of interesting features on it. And one reason why it's so popular is that you can always see something on Jupiter. The belts, the spots, the satellites moving around it. And the features on it are always changing from day to day or from month to month or, or from year to year. So as you see here, there are now fantastic images of Jupiter produced by images all over the world. And the BA Jupiter section analyzes those contributions for, for everyone all over the world. But we're also very happy to have visual observations. So uh, if you're only just starting out uh, and you just want to draw Jupiter as you see it through a telescope, we're very willing to uh, hear from you as well. Uh, and to give you some advice on what you're seeing and what you can draw. Um, if you can do imaging, at the moment we're getting very few good ones from England because the planet is very low in the sky, but it's now climbing higher as of 2009. Uh, so within the next year or two it will get to a reasonable altitude. We're already getting some better images from Britain. So the fact that many of these images are from Australia or the tropics uh, doesn't mean that you have to go there to do good imaging. Uh, you'll be able to do it very soon from Britain as well. Um, apart from actual uh, observation of the cloud features, uh, you can also see the satellites. Uh, that's something you just observe casually as the four Galilean moons move in front of the planet. And uh, you can see their shadows crossing the planet as well. In fact, this year, there's a special opportunity to see the satellites passing in front of each other and casting their shadows on each other. So that's a special feature of 2009. Uh, for serious observers, um, you can identify particular features on the planet, such as the Great Red Spot, which you'll see in some of these pictures here. And um, you can observe how that changes over the years. You can see other features. They're all great circulations, great storms in the atmosphere. We can follow their origins and their histories. Uh, we publish in very great detail uh, the histories of these, which are giving us scientific information about the way Jupiter's climate works the way in which a giant planet's atmosphere is operated. So there's lots to be done in the Jupiter section, we'd love to hear from you.